What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where this modern day Ferrari Testarossa is chef's kiss. I love it, but I'm gonna tell you guys about it and let you decide as you see the pictures. Now, when we see a modern interpretation of a classic model, often one or two elements are taken from the original vehicle and it's made more modern and applied to the design. Well, like other Ferraris, the Ferrari Testarossa is one of the most easily recognizable car of the 1980s and is considered by many to be a true automotive icon of its time. And we all know that its famous design was signed by Pininfarina. Now, a Parisian designer and engineer, Johan de Resti, has published a sort of digital resto model of the 1984 model online that takes it into the 21st century without changing the original main elements too much. The proportions remain essentially the same, but he has decided to remove the fins on the side air intake. Now the front is characterized by the headlights reminiscent of those of the LaFerrari hybrid hypercar and the 488 Pista. And the square corners are of the 1980s sports car that have been replaced by the curved surfaces while the front grille is a throwback. Now the side profile of this digital render that is the least reminiscent of the Ferrari Testarossa and that's because the fins on the air intake are missing. That's the only controversial part of this design really. The modern rims used by the designer are very different from those used on a classic car. As for the rear, the original Testarossa did not have rounded but square taillights. Now on this project, however, you'll see the black plastic band and is connected to the optical groups remained. In the lower diffuser and LED strips framing, the rear lights have given a modern look. Now although Delestri has not talked in detail about the engine hidden under the hood, it's obvious that it is a petrol engine. As you see the four tailpipes on the rear, two on each side, that's clearly evident. Now the original Ferrari Testarossa is equipped with a five liter V12 capable of developing 390 horsepower, 6,300 RPM, and 490 newton meters of maximum torque at 4,500 RPMs. And this was paired with a five speed manual gearbox plus reverse and rear wheel drive. And according to the data by Marinello, the mid-engine Berlinetta took just 5.8 seconds to sprint from zero to 100 kilometers and reached a top speed of 290 kilometers. Now what I'll say is again, the most controversial design element that is missing are those side intake fins. Other than that, this is a really cool look at what a Testarossa would look like in a modern day form. Now, I wanna know what you guys think about this specific render and would you have liked it better with the side fin air intakes or do you like it just how it is like this without them? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we have a bigger discussion on this 1980s Ferrari Testarossa taken to the next level in the 21st century. Now with that said, if you guys wanna help further support the channel, always check the links down below. We have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo, just in case you guys wanna donate a dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate the support. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch, just in case you guys wanna get a t-shirt, stickers, tote bags, fanny packs, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. See everything you're missing, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you won't miss one video. With that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.